hello guys welcome back to back of world today we'll learn about uh, replication replication between two rubric clusters to configure replication between two rubric cluster we should open ports 7785 between rubric clusters bidirectionally and we should have two clusters source and target clusters and replication pairing should be created between source and target clusters and replication which transmits snapshot data and metadata to target cluster so once we uh, replicated data then we will be able to recover from target cluster so here replication uses encryption encryption data in flight so tls protocol will be used so which is encrypted uh, data so replication pairing so to create replication pairing we sh we should navigate settings replication replication uh, create replication pairing so once we click on replication pairing we will get an option to select network type and source target clusters once we select all these three then we can add the replication pairing if you want to create the bidirectional replication between uh, A to B, B to A, then we can uh, add bidirectionally. Uh, two times the replication pairing should be created. And where to be enabled replication? Replication should be enabled in SLA domain. So SLA, while creating SLA domain, we will get an option to enable replication. When we click on uh, replication toggle here, we will get an option to select a replication target and a retention period for the replication. So we can add multiple replication targets. So if we add one more replication target, we will get like this. We can give target one, target two, or two different replications. We can provide different retentions. So we can uh, mention that and also we will get an option for uh, local storage retention i mean primary copy which is so once we have uh, replication target uh, selected then uh, we will get this power v options so once replication is completed we can recover from target uh, cluster so from source uh, uh, when i mean source cluster uh, from replication source means we will get more options like you know uh, uh, export recover file in place recovery live mount instant recovery and mount virtual disk so if we recover from uh, replication target we will get only export recover files live mount and uh, mount virtual disk we will not get in place recovery and instant recovery from uh, replication target so we can pause and resume replications uh, so which is you know uh, during any activity or maintenance so we can pause the re uh, replication and uh, after activity or maintenance we can resume the replication so replication uh, the navigation is settings and replication so there we can see replication pairing which we have created in previous uh, steps so we can pause uh, replication in two ways one one is allow in progress replication jobs to complete or uh, we can cancel the uh, we can cancel pro in progress uh, replication jobs immediately and pause so uh, as per requirement we can select and pause the uh, replication and replicate once the activity is done or maintenance or uh, patching activity is done we can resume the replications so replication resumes uh, uh, we can there is again two options we can resume the replication for all missed snapshots or uh, we can resume replication for all new snapshots as per requirement we can uh, resume the uh, replication so that's it for today thank you for 
joining with us please do like share and subscribe